بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم سالار خان ہیر اور کنٹینیوئنگ دی ٹاپک آف دی لیپلاس ٹرانس فارم دی میتیکل فارمیلا فور لیپلاس ٹرانس فارم دس ون اس دی میتیکل فارمیلا فور دی فوریر ٹرانس فارم اور وائی ہیو آئی ریٹن دس سو جس تو ٹیل یو وٹس دی ڈیفرنس بیٹوین لیپلاس ٹرانس فارم اور فوریر ٹرانس فارم لیپلاس اس فور ا جنرل کامپلیکس نمبر ایس ویر ایس فور فوریر ٹرانس فارم وی ہیو دی ریل پارٹ آف دیٹ ایس ایس زیرو اور دیٹ ایس اونلی آن دی پیور پیورلی ایمیجنری سائٹ so this I have written is because uh, in the mathematical formulas if you get confused in mathematics so if you know the, the, the Fourier transform for a particular thing you can maybe just replace the S J omega by S to, to you know get things simplified but that is not always the case okay because there are signals whose uh, Fourier transform may not exist and the Laplace transform may exist fine so this video basically is for some uh, examples of some simple uh, some simple uh, 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 signals right so the first is let's say unit step signal x of t is u of t and the corresponding for uh, laplace transform is unknown so in this video we do what we with i would uh, uh, try so to solve some basic examples and then we try to cover some basic points from the book to to compile the introduction basically okay so anyways the uh, unit step signal or let's say first we start with a unit impulse the very basic signal unit impulse signal delta of t so what do you have x of s from the mathematical formula we would have it as uh, negative infinity to positive uh, delta of t exponential of negative st into dt right now we know the uh, time time shifting shifting property of uh, of the impulse signal then when when a signal x of t is multiplied with delta of t minus t naught right and uh, then it is integrated uh, from negative field to positive field so this is basically equal to the value of this signal at the value of the, where the impulse is located right so this would be x of t naught the whole answer is x of t naught basically you know that very well so in this case what would we have t naught is zero so the answer to this integration would be the value of exponential of negative st add the value t equal to 0 which is equal to 1 so which means that the Fourier transform for a unit impulse signal is equal to 1 throughout it's a constant right now uh, we know that with an associated algebraic expression we have the associated region of convergence a region of convergence ROC is the set of values of s for which this value would be finite what value the value of the laplace transform would be finite so is this not a finite value does this depend on any independent value no which means what that this value is finite for for the entire values of s so which means the rate the rate the 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 the, the, the what the roc is the entire s plane roc is what the entire s plane why am i saying this because it is independent of the values of s so for each and every value of s this laplace transform that is equal to one is a finite number is that fine so this is the very first example the next is the basic signal unit step signal if x of t is a unit step signal u of t what is the corresponding Fourier transform x of Laplace transform so again uh, using the mathematical formula we have x of s this would be negative infinity to positive u of t exponential of negative st dt now we know what the u of t has uh, is, is a right sided signal so the left side integration would be zero so this would be a zero to infinity u of t exponential of negative st and with respect to t and the value of this is of course one in this particular interval so 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 this would be a one now basically we're trying to config uh, find the integration of negative st so you know when this is with respect to t so you have an exponential of negative st divided by divided by a a, a, a negative s right divided by negative s yes 
So, and, and what are the limits? So, the limits are the lower is 0, the upper is infinity. Now, what do I have? So, I would take uh, this negative 1 over s outside because uh, this is independent. Fine, and then you have an exponential of negative s into infinity minus exponential of negative s into 0. Now comes the part for the region of convergence as well. So we'll discuss it uh, very much over here also. Uh, and how is that? So if, if you have a look, so this is multiplied with 0, this would not uh, play any general role, right? If I write it like this, that it's a negative 1 over s, uh, then we have an exponential of negative, uh, or if I multiply the negative into the inside as well if i uh, multiply or, or let it be or let it be for this time so negative s i would write it into a negative sigma plus j omega right and this is multiplied with infinity and then minus exponential of zero would of course give you a one right so this i could further write as one over s into exponential of minus of sigma into infinity and then minus of j omega into infinity and then of course the whole minus one so now have a look if you uh, if you further split this so exponential of a negative j omega into infinity so this would be basically a cosine function or what function I have written it over here somewhere or uh, no uh, basically this j omega uh, I'm talking I'm trying to talk about the region of convergence so this j omega basically is a finite number we know this is a finite number this is the frequency right and this infinity so this multiplied with infinity would give you an infinity an exponential of negative infinity would give you uh, zero so that is that is something uh, we don't have to do something with the thing that we are required uh, the region of convergence basically deals with the, the with the sigma part of it so now depending on the value of sigma we we decide the the roc of the signal the, of the laplace transform so have a look if the sigma is positive the sigma is positive and this sign we have a negative so overall we have a negative and then exponential of negative infinity would give us a zero which means that the signal this laplace transform would converge for sigma sigma's value positive whereas now if sigma is negative so this negative into this negative would give you a positive and positive with infinity would be an exponential of positive infinity and it would diverge to infinity so which means the roc should not contain the values of sigma less than zero why because for that values the summation the integration is not converging so anyways uh, for now if you consider it to be uh, positive so you have an exponential of negative infinity right that would be zero right so uh, so i have a negative one over s over here i have a zero i have a minus one so which means my, my laplace transform has come out to be one upon s fine and what is the region of convergence for this so the region of convergence for this is that the the real part of uh, uh, of s should be greater than zero isn't it like this it is and of course you can draw the uh, what the the plot as well the I told you about the s plane so if this is my j omega axis this is my sigma axis so for this the entire plane is the ROC you, you, you represent it by shaded region right and for the second example now for the second example the ROC would be the positive region greater than zero so this is how it goes right this is for the second example the third the third is let's say a DC value a finite value the third x of t is let's say any dc value and i represent it by a naught so by the mathematical formula what do we have we have x of s i we have a negative infinity to positive a naught exponential negative st dt a naught is a constant value is a dc value take it outside the integration 
like this, right? Uh, uh, exponential of negative st with respect to t. A naught. Uh, and, and I have an exponential of negative st divided by negative s so I take it outside as well and the limits are negative infinity to positive infinity now now what a naught upon negative s so now if you put the limits so exponential of uh, negative so first I would write a sigma plus j omega over here in place of s uh, into t into infinity right uh, no no not t because t i'm putting the value of t right and then a minus exponential of negative sigma plus j omega into a minus infinity isn't it like this it is now what do i do i open up the brackets a naught upon uh, negative s negative sigma into infinity exponential of negative sigma into infinity multiplied exponential negative j omega into infinity exponential negative j omega into infinity minus exponential of positive j omega into infinity right exponential of sigma first sigma into infinity into exponential of positive j omega into infinity have a look now have a look now so i believe i did i i told you something wrong over here i would correct it over here first to have a look to the j omega part Which omega is a frequency right this has to be something finite value so if omega is finite this implies what that j omega into infinity would be infinite right and now what can i write i can write uh, exponential of negative j omega uh, into infinity i can write it as cos of j omega into infinity no no cos of infinity yes so this is what basically alpha infinity is my angle so this would be cos of infinity minus j sine of infinity right so what is this telling me and if I also write this one so exponential of a positive j omega into infinity would be cos of infinity plus j sine of infinity now what is this telling me this is telling me if I don't know the angle the angle is undefined basically but the cause of it is defined the sine of it is also defined if the angle is undefined so if i can write it by this way so i can define the signal which means that i don't have to do anything with this particular part because this is uh, you could say defined part to make the laplace transform undefined and to 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 study the the roc of it what do we have to do we have to take in account the values of sigma so have a look over here First, if I have exponential of negative sigma into infinity. So now, basically, depending on the values of sigma, it could be greater than zero, it could be less than zero. If it's positive, so it would be a negative infinity and this would be converging to zero. So which means this one is right. If it's negative, so negative negative would give you a positive and exponential of positive infinity would diverge. So this is not the case. Similarly, for the second, for the second now, what do we have? If I have an exponential of positive uh, sigma into infinity. So again, you would be considering sigma greater than zero and sigma less than zero. Now, if my sigma is greater than zero, so this would diverge. For this case, now I need sigma to be less than zero. So have a look. In the very same signal, I also need sigma greater to be zero for one. I need sigma less than to be zero for the other, which means what? Which means that I do not have any intersection. We know that if my signal is a linear combination of two or more signals, so I would consider the ROC to be the intersection of the individual ones, which is not the case over here. I don't have any intersection. For one, it's the right hand side. For other, it's the left hand side. So which means what? That for this signal, no Laplace transform exists. Maybe you could do some mathematical manipulations and this and that. 
but we are c is undefined so which means that we don't have any laplace transform that is it for this example let me remove the board and discuss one or two more okay so the next the fourth is a uh, a signum function x of t which is a signum function and if i do it uh, simply so i could write it as a u of t minus a u of minus t isn't it like this and now you can tell from here directly that no laplace transform exists you can tell directly that no laplace transform for this signal as well why because again the signal is a linear combination of two signals and for each individual the the roc is different for this sigma has to be greater than zero for this sigma has to be less than zero so what about the overall signal we don't have any intersection is that fine yes example uh, of the book one one example from the book x of p is equal to this is 9.3 x of t is equal to 3 times exponential of negative t 3 times exponential of negative 2t into u of t uh, minus 2 times exponential of negative t into u of t minus 2 times exponential of negative t u of t rest fine now now what do we have we are asked to find the laplace transform of course we are asked to find the laplace transform so what would we do uh, from the mathematical formula of course so x of s would be equal to a negative infinity to positive infinity and this whole thing so split it up 3 comes outside exponential of negative 2t uh, into exponential of negative st u of t right then a minus 2 times negative infinity to positive exponential of uh, negative t into exponential of negative st and uh, dt so this is uh, dt i would write and why did i write dt so i would replace the limits from 0 to infinity isn't it like this it is now now you know very well for a negative 2 t you know very well for a negative t you know very well this will be s minus 2 s plus 2 s plus 1 right so what do i have this 3 is outside 3 was outside and for exponential of negative 2 t the plus transform is 1 over s plus 2 so this is s plus 2 and then a minus you have a 2 times s plus 1 for this case now have a look have a look for the roc for the ROC so for this one the real of s has to be greater than minus 2 yes for this one the real of s has to be greater than minus 1 right so what do we have what do we have the the overall ROC should be such that it includes both of them it includes uh, both of them 1 is minus 2 1 is minus 1 are these the poles or are these the are these the what we've already seen them right yes these are the poles right so denoted by a cross so for this what do you have now if i include uh, if i take from a negative 2 so this region would not be included in this region right so if i take it from a negative one if i take it from a negative one so this would basically be the intersection of the two now because the other was from here so the intersection lies from negative one till infinity till infinity right okay this is continuing till infinity anyway so that is it for this example 9.4 so you do it yourself it's getting longer it's getting the video is getting longer 9.4 what does it say x of t is 
exponential of negative 2t into u of t you know this very well plus exponential of negative t into cos of 3t into u of t so this is what i will tell you and this and, and then you would you would do it further by your own self this thing fine so how do you do it you do it from the eulers relation you do it from the eulers relation so what would you get x of t now you know this very well from the mathematics okay i would write it down this is an exponential of negative 2t and the rest you would write it as plus 1 over 2 exponential of negative 1 minus 3 j into t plus 1 over 2 exponential of negative 1 plus 3 j into t and this is whole multiplied with a u of t so you take each and every term individually you have an exponential of negative 2t for this you know it very well then you have a negative uh, this thing then you have this thing so you can do it by yourself right or should i do it so you can do it yourself okay anyways let's say i do it let's say let's say i do it so 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 what would be the case x of s would be uh, 0 to infinity exponential of negative 2t exponential of negative st dt then plus 1 over 2 0 to infinity exponential of negative 1 minus 3j into t exponential of negative st dt plus 1 over 2 0 to infinity exponential of negative 1 plus 3j into t uh, and, and exponential of negative st from the formula dt so for this you know very well this would be s plus 1 over s plus 2 and sigma has to be greater than plus 2 right the region of convergence for this what would be the case 1 over 2 is outside s plus this thing yes so 1 over 2 is already outside and then you have into 1 over s plus this thing which is a 1 minus 3j right and for this uh, this uh, region of convergence would be what that sigma is greater than 1 for this thing right sigma is greater than 1 negative 1 negative 1 negative 1 yes and similarly for this one again 1 over 2 was already present and then you have 1 over 1 s plus again 1 plus 3j so for this also the real of s has to be greater than minus 1 why is this so you know the the value the the the, the what the what the reason so if you draw the roc of it if you draw the roc of it so this is j omega is sigma this should be greater than 1 so this is 1 so this should be greater than 1 like this fine this says that it should be greater than minus 1 so if this is greater than minus 1 so this would be the case and similarly this says that it should be greater than plus 2 so if this has to be greater than plus 2 so the overall intersection is what the overall intersection only includes this particular region which means that that is the ROC the overall ROC of the signal of this signal is that the Sigma should be greater than plus 2 which means we have to remove this thing this is not the ROC this is not the ROC so that is it that is it let's see we take some points from the book we talked about the rational Laplace transform where we have a numerator divided by a denominator the roots of the numerator are called the zeros the roots of the denominator are called the poles of the signal fine okay 
we, we know about the pole zero plot as well then I told you that the uh, then I told you what that the, the number of poles and zeros are always uh, to be the, uh, equal in number uh, and uh, the amount by which they are short so that we consider them to be at infinity fine and one other thing the order of the pole the order of the pole if you have two poles at the same point we, we name that as a second order pole if you have two zeros at the same point we name them as the second order zeros if we have three poles at the same so three third order similarly fourth order fifth order okay that is what i want to the order of poles and zeros similarly if you have another example over here if you have another example, so let's say that you do it yourself, it's example 9.5, so I'm not writing anything. So do it yourself, it's on page number 661. Okay. So the order was, that was something I needed to uh, tell you. Uh, yes. So that is it. If the ROC of the Laplace transform does not include the J omega axis, the Fourier transform does not converge. Have a look for this signal. The, Fourier, the Laplace transform does not include the J omega axis, which means the Fourier transform for this signal does not exist and you could give it a try on your very own self. Fine? So uh, again the order, uh, so you, you read it out from the book. I finish this video over here. See you in the next video very soon inshallah. Till then take care of yourselves and everyone around you. Do remember me in your prayers. Do subscribe to the channel. Goodbye.